we need to understand the people working in the space. There are young people working there, there might be medium age people and there might be very old people and in order to make their everyday life in the office as good as possible, you need to be able to adapt the lighting to the persons using the space. More and more work is being done everywhere. You can go to a cafe and do your work there, you can work from home, but the, the lighting has to sustain visual communication between people when you're in the office. You need to cast a glance at your neighbor, are you, e are you eager, ready to work with me now, do you have the time right now, and get these nuts. So when you look at people, that way that when light hits my face, it's reflected to your eyes, it tells you something about my mood, if I'm ready to talk to you, or if I'm busy, we are sending all these kind of non-verbal signals to each other. And lighting in an office has to relay these messages, the non-verbal messages, but the visual messages. And sometimes we forget about that, we just think we need 500 lux to be able to read a paper or type on our computer, but it's so much more. And the better lighting quality we have, the better visual communication we have between people. And at the end of the day, it's just about understanding the needs for people in the space. So be there, talk to the people using the space, and do the best that you can using the tools available. Just remember that good lighting sustains good visual communication.